This question is not about the elaborate story, it's not really about volume or anything like that. This is really just about lines. So the first thing I would notice looking at this question is obviously there's an equation that they give us, but what type of equation of it is it? Well, it's a y equals mx plus b. Now they've, they've rearranged things a little bit. We've got y in place of you know this wt, and they also flipped it so that my mx is over here, and then my b is kind of in reverse. But that's okay, that doesn't bother me, because y equals mx plus b isn't really about the order of things per se, it's more about what's attached to what, right? So there's a slope that is attached to a variable, and then there's this other piece that's either added on, subtracted on, whatever, that kind of represents the starting point, and that's how we should think about it here, is they're really asking for a slope. Um, what is the predicted volume draining from the container each second? They're talking about a rate here. And hopefully, we know that if we're talking about rates, that's another code word for slope. When we have a story, we don't often use words like slope or y-intercept, the words that we think about for y equals mx plus b. But they're still the same concepts. We just need to be able to kind of translate it back to this more familiar language. So when they talk about rates, things happening each second, each minute, each mile, whatever it may be, that's gonna sound like a slope. So really they're just saying, look at this equation and tell us the slope, and it's, it's D, it's four. Now I know that there's a negative, and so technically the slope of this thing is negative four, but they do phrase the question in a way that lets us drop the negative, right? Um, according to the model, what is the predicted volume in milliliters draining from the container each second? So the negative is kind of built into that word draining, right? It's losing four uh, milliliters, and so they're not really asking for the, the sign of the thing, they're just asking like, what is the, the volume? So that lets us drop the negative, but it's still behaving the same kind of like y equals mx plus b way that it would if it were just like um, a normal linear equation. They've just kind of dressed it up with this story. So don't let the stories panic you and get good at recognizing when you've got lines, even if they don't explicitly tell you. So that way you can kind of get back to these more basic ideas very quickly and just sort through this. This is literally like a 10 second question if you're confident in these concepts.